Okay, next we are going to work on cropping an image and I've gone ahead and set up my template page, named it imagecropped.html and because I don't want to overburden people looking at this with such an originally huge size, I'm not including the original image in here for comparisons. You don't need to either. Um, as long as you have at least one of your pages that has the original uh, image on it, <clears throat> I can take a look at it there. So my objective here is to go ahead and list for comparison my original information and I'm going to put in a cropped version of that and I'm going to then go ahead and gather and insert the information for that there. So to crop an image we need to drop over here to Photoshop Elements. Now Photoshop Elements is the lightweight version of Photoshop and for this exercise this week you can use any version of either Photoshop Elements or Photoshop. It does not matter. If you were going to move forward and get into web design with with imagery in terms of like the full layout being an image then you would want to use the full-blown Photoshop but for our purposes of optimizing images of creating small images Photoshop elements is perfect so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that image and that is this guy here and I know again that this is coming in at 9.5 megs. Photoshop will actually enhance it once it opens it up, so it's probably writing slightly larger than uh, its original 9 megs. Now, there are many tools here in Photoshop Elements, but this exercise is focusing in on cropping, and that's this tool right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then draw a box around the image that I want left over and click on the green to accept that and that's in a nutshell how to crop an image. Now what we want to do is we want to save this image but instead of just doing a save as I want to save it for the web and that's because here in Photoshop one of the things that it's very good at is saving for a web and getting things ready. Now we can see that indeed it has optimized it to 13.6 megapixels. This is the original image over here on the left hand side and we can see that the default setting here is for a GIF and by using a GIF format I can see that it is coming in at 4.2 megs so significantly better compression already however um, I haven't changed its overall dimensions and even 4.2 megs is still a huge thing to also understand in terms of differences, we'll talk more about this in the optimization area. If I took a look at the differences between the original file over here and the GIF format here, I can start to see some loss of, of fidelity here. I'm not so much worried because this image is huge and I'm focused in on something that's relatively small, but just to show you what these things will do to, for you. Again, the GIF is 4.2 meg. If I switch this over to a JPEG, I can reduce that right down to 1.9 or 1.09 megs. And so that already has made a huge difference. The other thing to do as well, remember before in, in the resizing portion when you constrained the image to a smaller box it didn't make the file size any smaller. Here we've cropped it but we can also resize it at the same time. Perhaps I want to go to 300 pixels wide and 197 pixels tall and perhaps I want to go ahead and, and apply that. Once I do that now notice that my image drops down to 13k and given the nature of this particular image, 300 by 197, I'd be fine with that. Depends a lot on what you want to use the image for. If it's for a background, you'd probably want to go to maybe seven or 800 pixels wide. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now, the important part, of course, is to save this. I'm going to put a one cropped in front of it to save it so that you retain the original so save the original I'm not going to save that one and then rename the new one so now I'm going to go ahead and go back into Dreamweaver I'm going to insert the image 
And now here's the one cropped. And even before I get started, Dreamweaver is even telling me this is 300 by 197. It's a JPEG and it's 14 kilobytes. So I need to keep that in mind. And I'm going to do Artists Studio. Oops. Okay. And the size here is 14 kilobytes and the dimension is 300 by and remember in, in Dreamweaver you can check 300 by 197 you can see it down there on the piece oops 97 and I have made this a JPEG oops and that is how we can crop and resize excuse me resample all in one shot I'll see you in a minute